I stayed up all night last night and it's like what 8 30 in the morning oh well, I got all where I want the red to be so I didn't worry about how I was doing or anything but I just made it to where some of the details will pop out but get a good focus on that there you go and the details will pop out and then right now I'm gonna um take a take this first figure and I'm gonna use my gunmetal on it. It's like dark it's like a darkish gunmetal. So then I'm gonna go today and get some more paint. And get two maybe uh maybe four figures today. I got the wings all done last night. Bottom and top half. The legs. And the main section. And this one broke on me. The head broke, so I just had to glue it back in. It will not close no more. So it's okay. The way I'm going to have it displayed, anyways, and won't have his head and mouth <laughs> closed. Got his legs all done. Got his wing patterns right here sculpt it out and everything and then to this part I'm gonna make it all gun metal so next time you see this video it's gonna be the um the product itself finished and ready to go but this is just a little recap on how I'm doing on the transformers but till then we got about what one to five more seconds and I'll hit two minutes then we'll start and there we go time to start start out with the little first no. I don't know why I'm using a fan brush is because it grazes over it without touching the uh oh, needs a, it'll, it'll graze over it without touching the uh the fine details inside the figure's head you can see uh to, Gonna keep going. Make sure we got that first. First color on my first. And I got something and I'll polish right here in case I find any loose joints and taking all apart and everything, so
pain it's just it's relaxing for me I just like it for some odd reason inside the head Second scene for the first. Sorry if you can't see that, but. Uh, yes, if you do want to know, I'm going to be doing this process for, this is going to just, this is just the first coat. I'm going to do about probably four more coats on him just to get the way I want him to look. You know. So I started out with a little, so I don't start out with a lot, so he could dry over the process, then go back through it. I will do robot mode 2 like, and the uh, prosthetics of it. But right now I just want to get the dragon head done. I keep, I keep twisting it. It ain't working as good as it was the first time. You Sorry if you hear the bird, my window open. And they're just going at it this morning. I don't know why. I, mean, I don't ever do that. There must be something by it. Giving them the eebie jeebies. Oh, well, I'm going to go for about 10 minutes. Then, yeah. Because if I do the whole attempt, that's a, the whole going over it again and again and again, it's just gonna bore y'all. So I am got other paints right there. These are for the eyes. Uh, these are for the uh, after I get all the paint that I want on it to go over it, graze it, and give it that pop of gum metal. This is bronze. So I can go all over the certain spots I want bronze, and this is rust. As the Don, uh, the dragons have been here for years. So, all right, that's it. I'm gonna cut this off right now, and I'll bring him back to you later.